praise the greatest physician praise our living jesus lord we want to thank and appreciate you for all your doings what a dependable and reliable lord you are thank you for abiding with us we bless your holy name in jesus name amen and amen a bible today is taken from the book of matthew chapter 11 matthew chapter 11 from verses 28 to 30 matthew 11 28 to 30 come unto me all ye that labor and are every laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your soul for my yoke is easy and my body is light may the lord bless and empower his word in this clinic in jesus name amen you will receive a visitor of joy before the year runs out in the name of Jesus. There will be a divine contact and you will meet your God-ordained spouse in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be invited for that contract in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand to declare, King, lead us that matters they will send for you in the mighty name of jesus so shall it be in jesus name amen and amen dear beloved we receive and made several invitations in our life there are some invitations that add values to our life partially there are some they brought regret some are great invitation we ate and dine with the vips we enjoy all that they offered but the moment we leave the atmosphere and get back home our problem returns but there is one invitation that bring a dramatic awesome change to your life permanently and this is found in Christ Jesus an invitation an invitation the power and purpose of an invitation beloved either you are invited that is they invite you or you made an invitation you invited someone the result is the same the outcome is the same because the purpose of an invitation is for a meeting and a contact that you can meet that you can have a contact our father abraham invited to God representative to his house according to book of Genesis chapter 18 verses 1 to 10 he invited them and he got information he got God reassuring him concerning his promises to his family God confirmed it and he settled it he got information concerning his nephew and even two nations, Sodom and Gomorrah, because he invited them. Jairus invited our Lord Jesus Christ concerning his dead daughter. According to the book of Mark, chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. But his life, he came back to life. She came back to life because of an invitation. He invited him. 
and the dead daughter came back to life. Uh, today's Bible test is reminding and bringing an invitation of the only and greatest helper to you and calling us to come. Open to all invitation. No restriction. Whatever nationality you are, whatever race or tribe, it will receive you the way you are. There is no dressing code. Whatever garment you are, you are airing, or you put on, it will undress you and redress you. In the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verses 18, let's look at the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1 verses 18. Come unto, come now and let us read it together, saith the Lord. Though your sin be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. The Lord is calling. He said, come, let us reason together. Irrespective of what your situation is, there will be a dramatic positive change. Are you depressed or under the stress of life? Come, he said. Or are you dominated with fear of all kind? He asks you to come. Do you have challenges concerning your kids? Come, the Lord said. Or do you have any problem with mental challenges or addiction? Come. Or are you under demonic influence or attack? The Lord is calling you today that you should come. Oh, is the burden of life too heavy for you to carry? Come, the Lord said. Or are you fighting emotion or spiritual battle? Come. He promised a rest for your soul. You will receive rest to your soul in the mighty name of Jesus. He wants to remove all those yoke that the devil has inflicted on you. He wants to uproot all those things that are causing problems in your home and marriage. That is the purpose of the calling. He want to deliver you from that sleepless night, from frustration, from depression and oppression of the enemy. Beloved, it does not matter how long it has been there. It does not matter how far you have been in the world. There is no sinner without a future. And there is no saint without an ugly past. But, it is in honoring Christ's invitation that make the different anew, according to the book of Second Corinthians chapter five seventeen. Can you imagine? Just an invitation for a drink, they turn out to be life partner, husband and wife. Just an invitation. Let's have a drink, and they ending up become husband and wife. A contact. Just a right phone call can change a man's life from worldly mess. Don't despise this great invitation today again. Listen to the tune of the love of the lamp in Revelation chapter 3, 18. Let's have a look at Re Revelation chapter 3. Revelation. Revelation chapter 3, verses 18. The voice of the lamp. I cancel thee to buy of me gold dry in the fire, that thou may be rich and white raiment, that thou may be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and announce thy eyes with eye slave, that thou might see it. Praise the living Jesus. The word of the lamp of God, quietly, Counseling us to come so that we can be rich, so that our shame could be covered, so that we give us a new garment. And he call again, and he call again in Revelation 3:20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in into him. I will sup with him and he with me. 
promises the assurance of abundant eating and drinking. Do not keep Christ outside too long, my beloved. He's standing at the door of your heart, knocking. Don't keep him outside. In a short word confession, I want you to confess it by saying after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I heard about you today again. This time, for real, I surrender my life to you. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. I open the door of my heart. I open the door of my home and marriage unto you. Widely open for you. Come and be Lord over all. I confess in faith in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Congratulations. I want to congratulate you for that bold step of faith you have taken. Beloved, a change has been effected in heaven. A manifestation will spring forth in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The storm is over in the name of Jesus. You will enjoy unspeakable peace and rest in Jesus' name. Amen. For your prayer, testimony, and counseling, do not hesitate to contact us. You can see our contact on the screen. And I assure you, and you will see and find the faithfulness of the Lord in Jesus' name. Join us next week by His grace for another brand edition of Faith Clinic. Till then, stay connected and God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.